Oh, okay, very good. So once again, uh, my name is Leonila, but you can also call me Yen. Okay, that's because um, I, I prefer monosyllabic name, and uh, this stands for Japanese currency. It stands for money, right? And it's easier to remember. So you, don't be confused because sometimes um, the nurse, uh, like. You know, if I gathered you once again, probably if there would be next time uh, they may refer to me as yes. So it's just the same person. Even in, you know, if I um, do some posting in Facebook, maybe sometimes um, you may see um, that my name is written as yes or I'm being addressed to as yes. Okay, so it's the same. Um, it's the same person. All right. So um, um, I am pleased to uh, do the presentation for this. Um, Topic UKRN to USRN Career Pathway, the SGR way. So um, I know everybody is um, knowledgeable about the terminologies I have used. Obviously, RN there stands for registered nurses, and of course, UK um, uh, that's the destination. Okay, um, so the pathway that we are introducing to you is something new because now SG recruitment had added services and we're getting um, hospital um, employers, okay? So we would like to be able to accommodate nurses uh, who are aspiring to work in the USA to not only in UK, right? So first, uh, let me go through the slides. We will introduce um, uh, SGR first as a company because I understand that we are located in different countries and um, we are different nationalities as well which is good because SG Recruitment anyway is accommodating or hiring and processing applications of international applicants. So it's never a hindrance for the company to um, process or accommodate um, the um, applications of nurses coming from Middle East, um, Asian countries, uh, uh, even Africa, uh, to tell you honest. Okay, so let me introduce the company. So SG, it stands for um, S actually stands for Sumner, and then G stands for Group. It's a group of company, and um, R there stands for Recruitment. For uh, for you to be able to easily remember our name, um, you can just uh, I mean we do it this way. Okay, so Sumner Group Recruitment or SGR. So um basically we are a subsidiary of the Sumner Group. Uh, we work closely with our sister company, the Sumner Group Health, because we are into other businesses as well. We, prov uh, we provide um, PPEs, uh, especially uh, during the heights of the pandemic still now. We're, uh, we are a supplier of um, PPEs to different organizations all over the world. Okay? And um, of course, we are affiliated with uh, many NHS trusts. Um, these are our clients for the last uh, eight years. Um, you know, from the time that we started our business in the recruitment. And uh, as what I had mentioned, we supply PPEs to um, different organizations. All right, so SG Recruitment, together with several sister companies, I'll also introduce you to um, other companies that we have under SG Health or SG Group Health. Um, we have, uh, or it has full control of all aspects of the recruitment journey. Uh, and we have offices in the Philippines, in UAE, and also in the United Kingdom. So um, the candidates um, can expect the same level of care throughout your UKRN or US or RN journey. And we deploy candidates quickly, efficiently, and we provide assistance in every step of the way. If you will visit our Facebook page, just type in SU Recruitment recruitment in Facebook and then go to the review uh, page, you will understand um, what I am saying. We are a highly recommended recruitment uh, company or agency. And for the last um, eight years um, of, I mean, from the time that we have started, we have so far deployed more or less 1,000 nurses um, to our UK NHS Trust partners or clients. And now we are expanding. Okay, so uh, we are now having partnership or we're able to build a partnership with um, care home company or home care facilities in the UK and private hospitals. We are hiring mental health um, professionals or nurses and supplying them to um, private hospitals. But now NHS um, also has a huge demand for mental health 
hospital. So we'll discuss uh, more about that later. And if you are my follower, um, you can follow me um, in Facebook, Leonila Tolentino. But um, actually, my name is Leonila De La Rosa, okay, in my signature. But um, I'm using it. Uh, you know it. There is a personal reason, but it, it, it's it's me, okay? Leonila Tolentino in both Facebook and LinkedIn account. You can you can follow me and uh, in YouTube. Um, you can uh, subscribe to Leonila, your UK RN Ciceroni. Why I'm asking you to do that? It's not because I need subscribers. It, it's not because I will benefit from it, because it makes my job um, easier as well. Why? Because, you know, each time I'm getting inquiries, it's on a daily basis. At no particular, you know, they don't, nurses don't, since we are recruiting uh, nurses globally, so I, I'm getting messages from time to time, even at the time that I'm sleeping. So um, if I'm awake, I usually, you know, just send them the link to my YouTube account. Let's say, for example, I want to know the process. Okay, you can check uh, our YouTube account, uh, this this uh, particular blog, um, how to apply as a nurse in the UK. So I, I have that, you know, per topic. And uh, if I get the time, I, I do always update it because we really have plenty of things to talk about when it comes to um, or things that is um, affiliated with or, or things concerning with UK and uh, US applications. So it will help you a lot as well. Uh, most of them are just, you know, clips. It will not take so much of your time. And most of the orientations and uh, job postings and of course the um, application or the process itself can be found in our YouTube channel, okay? And of course, um, if you want, let's say you are already a pastor of OET or IELTS and you want to uh, pursue your application um, through us, you can also um, just message me. I usually give my uh, details, my WhatsApp. Um, for most of us, we are very active in WhatsApp, okay? Because you know it. Um, we have um, staff who are located outside of UAE who can uh, do WhatsApp calling. Okay? In, U in UAE, just an FYI, even if you call me um, via WhatsApp, it's not working here, um, even with VPN. So um, I can uh, only message you um, through, um, I think by doing, I, I can only chat with you and send you an audio message and if it's really needed and if it's really urgent i would be calling you via zoom sometimes if it's really really urgent i'm calling and i'm doing international call okay i wouldn't mind okay and um of course um i can uh, invite you for zoom even if it's just you know a one-to-one -one orientation i am doing that if i am free and if the nurse um applicant is also free okay so these are the ways we communicate and, and that is the reason why you need to really take note of my number and my email address, okay? You can share all the details, you know, that I'm, I'm sharing with you even without my permission, even my mobile number, because like what I said, these are office mobile number and I'm using two numbers, okay? You can share it with your colleagues and you can ask them to uh, message me anytime if uh, they really want to learn the process on how um, to uh, become a UK RN or a US RN. Okay, so um, to continue, so these are the services that um, SG Recruitment is providing. So we provide training for OET. By the way, allow me to um, admit um, nurses, okay, or who's trying to join us. So uh, we are providing training for OET. So OET stands for what? It stands for Occupational English Test. And the training that we provide is for nurses. So we don't have, for nurses and midwives, um, basically, we don't have um, OET training for doctors and other um, professions yet. Okay. So, so far, uh, we can, uh, you can enroll for OET if you're a nurse or a midwife. Yes, we started, you heard me right, we started um, doing recruitment for midwives. And uh, you'll be surprised because um, the salary and the benefits is the same as nurse. And we accept uh, midwives even if the, um, they only finish a two-year uh, certificate course in midwifery so long as they were able to secure 
uh, uh, a registration, okay, or a licensing or a midwifery license. That should be fine, okay? Of course, um, CVT, we don't do the training, but what we do is provide you the reviewer upon enrolling for OET or IELTS. Okay, so for CVT, before we used to charge our nurses uh, 500 dirhams. So just do the conversion in your uh, money. And OSCE now is available in our London office because um, SG recruitment is, a, is um, now operating in three countries. So we have, excuse me, uh, I will have to uh, mute the one who is not on, who's not muted yet, okay? Three seconds, please. All right. So again, I welcome everyone and to those who just joined. My name is Leonila and um, I'm handling recruitment and marketing for SG Recruitment for the last four years now. And we are discussing UKRN to USRN career pathway. All right. So of course, we, pro we are providing interviews. Okay. So um, primarily, primarily, you should know that the myth of the business is actually recruitment. So um, others are just uh, side um, businesses. So we are partnered or having partnership with uh, U.S. hospitals and U.K. hospitals. So um, basically, we are into uh, rec uh, recruiting or processing the application of every nurse applicants who um, wishes to work or relocate or move to UK or USA um, with their families. So in, for, the, for the interview, we have a nurse consultant who will talk to you first. Okay, let's say, for example, granting that you are already an OET or IELTS passer. This is the process for the UK application. So you will be called for a meeting via Zoom and the nurse consultant will uh, conduct an assessment and um, will prepare you for the interview or how to answer the questions from the NHS uh, trust um, clients or private hospital clients of SU recruitment. So, because uh, we, we are assuming that everyone will have to, they are not, uh, did, I mean, we are assuming that uh, for most of you, it will be first time um, for you to be interviewed by um, a UK uh, NHS trust plan. And that is the reason why uh, we want you to be ready and uh, I mean to ace your interview on that day because we want you to bring home the offer letter. So that, that is the purpose. And uh, of course, before uh, we, we put you in the lineup or we submit your application for a particular employer, we will first conduct an orientation for um, or about uh, the uh, the salary and the benefit uh, package offered by a, a specific hospital, and then uh, if the offer uh, is acceptable for you, then um, we will be uh, putting your application forward to that particular client. Okay, so no one will force you to accept an offer or to be interviewed by um, a specific hospital or organization that you, you uh, didn't like or that is not because sometimes um, there are preferences, right? Even I myself, if I'm applying for a job, I would prefer to have the, you know, the employer located in this place or would offer me this and that. All right. So th that is the reason why we have to talk to you first once you pass your exams for English okay, or once you pass your OET or IELTS. Okay. And of course, um, visa application. Um, it is to be shouldered by the employer and also uh, it is being processed by our deployment um, specialists and we, we have four of them currently, two in UAE and two in the field. Again, for those who just joined, SG Recruitment is based in the following countries. Philippines, we are known as GHR Healthcare Recruitment and then SG Recruitment in UAE, we are just in Jumeirah Lakes Towers, JVC5, Room 904, 905 and we are now in london our physical office in london and um we are um soon be opening it for uh, our oscar training and of course local recruitment services in london all right 
and um, travel arrangement, like what I said, we are the ones who's going to book the ticket. Our deployment specialists are the ones doing that. And uh, we as we we um, are we have we offer or our client has this relocation package. So accommodation will be there. It's just temporary. If it's if you are a UK applicant, so sometimes our client is. Uh, offering a one month accommodation to three months accommodation. So that's the reason why you are uh, being gathered or we are talking to you once you pass your exam for OET or IELTS so we can be able to tell you about the um, the package okay, um, or the offers of the hospital. Alright, so um, let's move on. These are um, the other names of our company. You are uh, probably going to see it because uh, we are very active in our uh, marketing drive so um, in the Philippines if you have like you know if you know someone based in the Philippines we started opening our recruitment in the Philippines and we are now ac ac accepting application from nurse applicants in the Philippines and um, it's I mean we are under the name of GHR healthcare recruitment but you can ask that person to also send it directly to me um, you, you have my number and you have my email address. It will not make a difference. In, fa in fact, it will be faster. Okay. And of course, we have the Sumner Group Health Limited, okay, which is based in the UK. Green Sky Innovations. Um, this is the office um, we have in DMCC because we have two offices. Okay. So, uh, Green Sky Innovations, it's not yet uh, operational, it's not yet open because we are still um, doing the paperwork, but we used to have, we, I used to work for that office before and um, soon we will have it again. Okay, So basically in UAE, we have two offices, Okay, one in DMCC and uh, one in uh, JLT. It's just next to each other. Um, and of course, the Sumner Group Training and Assessment Institute, Okay, this is also based in the Philippines, actually our um, office in the philippines is in laguna so before we used to um have we used to offer training for nihongo in the philippines and um now we are doing this um training for domestic workers okay and uh, for the oet in ielts it it is only online so we can be able to um we can be able to accept um, or accommodate nurses um, from you know from from uh, other parts of the world, not only from UAE. Okay, that is the reason why we made it online training and not face to face. And of course, we we are also providing you uh, documentation services. If you are a Filipino, this is only for Filipinos, by the way. But you don't have to worry if you are. Um, if you want uh, assistance as well in processing your NMC um, application, we will we also uh, provide assistance. Okay, so for Filipinos, they have some papers that they need to um, obtain and process in our country or in the Philippines, and that is the reason why we offer this documentation services. All right. All right, so uh, let us now discuss the application process. Why we are introducing the UKRN to USRN career pathway, okay? And what are the qualifications or requirements that you must meet um, in order for you um, to be able to uh, meet the goal of um, achieving your registration in UK as a nurse and um, later on become a USRN. So to qualify for this pathway, um, each nurse applicant is expected to start, uh, of course, with the UK process. And that is to start from the training itself for IELTS and OEP. Now, uh, please don't, don't think that, you know, we just want to generate income for the company, though that's one of the reasons I would be very direct. But uh, come to think of it, our charge for the fee for the training is very less as compared to our competitors in the UAE. Because others, if you would compare the rate, others would charge you one five for a one month or a two month training. Okay, but us, we only charge one thousand for OET, and then uh, for IELTS, we are only char charging seven hundred. For um, OET, we are extending it up to four months, especially if the nurse would be um, 
making the payment or enrolling within 24 hours. Okay, and then for IELTS, it will be one-to-one -one training with the trainer because we have five trainers. We are not, uh, we don't have only one trainer because our enroll is per month. Is from 40 to 70 nurses per month. Again, it is because it's open to all nationals, uh, nationalities. So um, we don't have restriction as far as accepting students for OET and IELTS is concerned. All right, and then um, it is a package for the OET and uh, IELTS. We provide CBT materials, which usually would cost you 500 dirhams. Okay, and um, the reviewer that we are providing you has a 100% pass rate, even for our OET and IELTS training, since. Um, uh, there are five trainers who will uh, uh, be there for you to guide you in, in passing your exam because our goal is for everyone or for um, our enrollees to pass their OET or IELTS in their first attempt. We don't want you to retake it because we don't want you to lose your money or waste your money and your time. And of course, you should know by now that as soon as you enroll, we are already waiting for you. Why? Because our interviews is happening every month and it's not only one interview it's not only one okay sometimes um we're having uh like eight to ten interviews per month trust me but most of the time what you will see are just you know uh the the big names or the big the the, the like, like, let's say for example uh leeds hospital or royal berkshire hospital the reason why we usually advertise for these hospitals just because if they give us um if they give us a certain project you you must expect that it is uh really for a big number okay like they are not only uh going to get or um going to offer 10 nurses okay the minimum is 50 nurses if say for example i advertise for leeds teaching hospital um, you could assume that they need as much as 50 to 100 for the dates that I'm going to mention. Because sometimes it's, it's I mean, we are conducting interview for one hospital five times in a month or so. Okay. So uh, once you enroll, once you decide, you are already, you already belong to our pool of applicants. So what does it mean? We will just wait for you to pass your OET or IELTS and then will line you up for the interview and it's going to be full assistance from a to z for the training itself it will be 24 hours for you okay of course it's not 20 live for 24 hours okay the live discussion would only be in the daytime starting from six and ending at eight o'clock in the evening you eight time all of the live discussion will be uh with replays or recording which you can access anytime you want to because you will be given your login uh, in the training portal. So for every lesson or discussion that you had missed, you can go, uh, you can um, be able to check it uh, in the recording. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, we provide, like what I said, full assistance. Like we will guide you how to start your NMC registration. And let me tell you that. Um, for every nurse um, applicant, as soon as they enroll for the OET uh, training or IELTS training, they are already being um, encouraged to start their NMC registration. We are not waiting for our nurses to finish or pass their OET or IELTS exam for them to register with NMC. No, because most of the time, let's say for example, okay, we give you the training for up to four months, okay? um you don't really need to to be honest you don't really need to complete four months but we just would like to give you uh, more time because we we understand how busy you are and as far as my experience is concerned most of the time nurses are coming back to me and telling me i need more time okay so i may i i thought of you know um making two months i mean double the two months offer and make it four months for you but it doesn't mean you will follow the four months period. So long as you are ready and you would know because MAC test will be there. Up to 20 MAC tests will be uh, given. And um, of course, to gauge your readiness and passing the test, 
and there will be instructors who will tell you or advise you to book the exam. So you are not going to book it uh, to book the exam until you've done your mock test. Okay. So uh, this is uh, what we advise because we do not want you to reschedule your exam because that would cost you. I think as what I am hearing, at least um, 600 dirhams. So we, we don't want that. We want you to be sure that you are ready to pass your exam before you book it. Okay. So again, going back to the OET and IELTS program, we will provide you free CVT materials, 24-hour access, live discussion in the daytime, 3 to 4 uh, times in a day. There will be writing and speaking focus coaching because we understand that uh, most of the nurses are challenged in passing. This is the most challenging part, right? Um, to pass the writing part and then the speaking part. So we dedicated um, um, a specific time for that to focus in coaching you or checking your writing work and everything, right? And then we will be providing you as well Masterclass. Masterclass are videos of the trainer doing the uh, exam himself or taking the exam himself. So he will be um, discussing how, um, I mean, what is his strategy or technique in passing the test. Okay. Now, once you enroll for the program, you will be endorsed for the free and flex online um, training program. And of course, once you qualified or meet the, the qualifications, there will be predictor test, there will be interview for the free and flex, and there will be contract sign. Okay? So let's say, for example, you, you had been successful for all the steps or process. Then um, the processing for the visa uh, would, um, would continue. Okay? So um, for this one, um, uh, what I advise you to do, because there are certain um, areas that uh, um, you have to be in in order for you to qualify for the free and flex um, program okay and based on the result of the predictor test um the the client uh, may be able to um, endorse you for a shortened program for NFLEX because the um, the time frame for the program would be up to six months but depending on your score and the result of your interview they may um Cut it short, okay, to at least two months or three months, depending on your performance. So again, for UK and USA, there is a guaranteed employer and it's full sponsorship, okay? So later on, we will discuss both, okay? So why you have to consider going to UK first or working in the UK first before uh, you go to USA, okay? First reason. USA application process may take up to two years from the training or NCLEX training up to petition and deployment. It may take, you know, uh, shorter or it could be shorter than this. Again, it's on a case-to-case -case basis. So I was told by the employer that the possible or the shortest um, time would be, I mean, for the USA application, would be one year and three months but it can go up to two years okay next for those who don't have bedside experience you are given a chance because u.s um hospitals or clients they would want you to have at least one year of bedside experience or hospital experience okay they will check it in your cv and in fact they had mentioned the specific area okay, that they need so if you are working on a different area then you really have to uh, go to UK first, okay? Or if you don't have a bedside or clinical experience, then you have to gain experience first in the UK. Next, um, UK application time frame from training to deployment will only take four to six months. And this is for real. Why? Remember, once you enroll for OET or IELTS, we will start the process for NMC. Okay, because... Um, the the um the UK application process is um I mean would only need you to have the OET or IELTS exam okay and uh, the the CVT exam okay and of course we have to complete or finish the registration uh, with NMC.
I'm not seeing questions. <laughs> There's no reactions at all. And I, I want to thank you. I appreciate that. So we can be able to finish the discussion um, for at least one hour um, or less. And then I, I can be able to um, answer all the questions that you have afterwards. But I wouldn't mind if you uh, will write down your questions in the in our chat uh, room okay? or chat box. So um, now, why you have to choose SGT? SGT is... Uh, is the one um, providing the training for our nurses for OET or IELTS. Okay, so we have SGT and SGR. Okay, so SGT stands for Summer Group Training. So uh, why you have to choose us? Okay, first we are giving you or uh, we have five high caliber trainers. Okay, with proven results. So um, on a monthly basis, um, they have a target. Like you know how many out of 10 let's say for example out of 10 how many should pass oet so uh, and, and so far we have not uh, we have a 95 percent pass rate when it comes to oet and ielts passers and that is the reason why we are able to supply um nurses to our clients because we are getting it from our training uh, department okay, so we provide lectures uh, daily three to four times in a day and uh, like what I had previously mentioned speaking and writing coaching will be there it is included in the package one-to-one -one coaching I forgot to mention um, there will be a one-to-one -one coaching especially once you uh, you book your test already next um, we will be uh, providing you a mock test okay after 20 mock tests and as you all know math test is um, is mirroring the actual OET exam Okay. Next, um, the recording or the replays of the lesson would be available to you 24 hours in a day. And you have unlimited access to masterclass videos and uh, ebook. Ebook is just the same as um, what you will um, see in the masterclass videos. Okay, And of course, free CVT materials will be there and Free NMC application assistance. It's very important because we don't want you to commit errors in applying or uh, or uh, submitting documents in the NMC. This is really very critical because if you do, then it will cause the delay. So um, why you have to choose SGR as your recruitment agency? Okay, so um, the number one reason, and like what I said, um, you can always check this in our Facebook uh, reviews. So uh, we are, uh, I mean, we are really fast, okay? And we are highly recommended. And we provide assistance from A to Z. Like, you will not be groping in the dark. So any, anything uh, that is related to your uh, UK, our, uh, UK application or US application, it will be answered. And... Um, it will be you will be assisted any time of the day especially me i don't i don't um i mean if i'm awake to tell you honestly i cannot help it but reply to the nurse i don't follow the the office our um office schedule at all if you are in recruit your recruitment your life will be like that okay so we we provide free visa ticket and accommodation especially for uk and you don't have to worry about usa it's um, fully sponsored by the company. Okay? If, if ever you are an NFLEX passer and you are here, uh, I mean, um, you, you, you want to apply um, in, in, I mean, you, you want to send your application to us and be processed by our client, just send it to me. Whatever you had spent for your application, like your NFLEX, NFLEX exam, that will be reimbursed to you if you have done that already, okay? All right, and uh, next for UK, again, we refund OET, IL, CVT exam, and NMC fees. So we have a specific hospital who is providing the refund. Uh, there's one, but then there's another one who provides um, the refund for OET, half, half of, the, uh, of the fee, and IELTS 100% reimbursement, CVT 100% reimbursement, okay? And for our private hospital, yes, all of this will be refunded your OET, IELTS, CVT, and NMC. And I guess for the care home, I don't have the details yet, but you know, the, the salary for care home is really, is really high as compared to, as compared to um, NHS Trust, okay? But um, 
of course, I always advise, especially if you're a first-time applicant and if you have the clinical experience anyway or the bedside experience, might as well start uh, working for a private hospital in the UK or a government hospital. Because in the UK, uh, you should know that you have the freedom to work part-time on a different organization, let's say care home or another private hospital if you are working in an NHS currently. And you get to um, be paid double or triple your rate. Okay, so it's like there's no difference. It's just that if you um, are working for an NHS, you are um, you will be taken care of. Okay, from the time you had been de deployed, okay, they will provide you um, assistance in passing your OSCE. This is really very important. Some I am hearing for care home, it's not the same support. Okay, um, but with SG recruitment, we're choosing the best employers for you. So we check all of this. I mean, we are checking the package before we sign agreement to them because uh, we don't want you to suffer in there. Okay, so um, that is how we care for our applicants. All right, what else? With SG recruitment, we have lots of choices on our employers. So before, uh, we can only offer you NHS Press. Now we have private hospitals. Now we have... Uh, we have care homes as well, and now we're giving you a uh, U.S. hospital, right? So um, we are known in the market because uh, we have been in the business eight years now. So most of the time, uh, the nurse who are enrolling or uh, who are applying to us had been referred by another nurse who are all, who had been deployed already by SU recruitment or is currently doing the training. And you can do the same thing. Next, uh, SG recruitment deploy nurses and midwives together with their families. So not many are doing it or processing it, but since the team is complete, okay, so from uh, um, from the recruiter uh, to uh, from recruit, actually from training, recruitment, and deployment, even the documentation now it's included. We do it all. A to Z, we do it all. Now, uh, for the we have immigration assistance, so we will provide with no re hundred percent no rejection. So uh, we will provide you assistance on how to bring the family because we don't want to travel alone. There are really um, applicants who wants uh, to leave their country but cannot leave their family, so they need to be deployed altogether, and we understand this. That is the reason why for, we provide immigration assistance. But just take note for UK, even for US, you can bring the family because they will provide you immigrant visa or a green card anyway. Okay? So take note, uh, it's not a working visa. For UK, it's working visa, but that's just how it is because you have to um, actually wait five years for you to um, be able to get your um, permanent residency and then later on apply for a British passport. But for USA, it will be different because they are going to petition you and it will be a premium visa processing a shorter time they are paying extra for that you are really pampered so um uh, that is um that is my point in telling you're choosing the best employers for you okay so um you won't be feeling uh homesick there in the uk because we we are going to um assist you in processing the visa of your family and there will be under your sponsorship because the visa that we will be providing you is called tier 2 visa okay so uh please take note of that you will shoulder the visa cost the the visa and the ticket cost of the family but of course you as a nurse or as our applicant you don't have to do that okay we will provide it to you for free, okay next we accept applicants with work gaps and no clinical experience take note of that and you can even tell this good news okay to the ones working in school the ones working in dental clinics aesthetic clinics and the ones doing admin work uh, i mean the there are many applicants um who are coming back to us testifying that we, we were able to help them and in fact just very recently uh, we have this couple. They are they're doing a main job for the last six years of their lives. But then they were able to get a job in the UK in NHS Trust. Okay? So it's not impossible. Even if you are a fresh graduate, uh, the NMC Nursing and Midwifery Council accepts, okay? 
and uh, will give you the permission to, to practice in the UK even if you just graduated from a nursing school without experience, zero experience, okay? So you don't have to worry and this should not be a deterrent for you uh, to pursue your dream and go to UK and later on go to US. Okay? Questions so far before I continue? I think I have prepared 26 slides. It's not numbered. I think we can take this one after we can do this one. Uh, wait, I, I will just be checking your because I have so many questions now in the chat room. Um, okay, for Antoinette, NMC application is not free, but everything can be reimbursed. Okay, depending on the employer. Okay, let me just admit Naeem. So for NMC, remember, I, I will give you the cost. Anyways, it's also in my YouTube, but if you have something to write with, a pen and a paper with you, take note that for NMC, because I have not included this in the slide, okay, that I'm using now, I I, I, I made a different one, because it's per topic. So for the NMC, take note in their hams, I, I can only give you now in their hams, you can do the conversion in Google, or you can ask the later, I can do that for you. It's only, for NMC, only 300, uh, NMC application, sorry, about 680 their hams depending on the currency 680 dirhams okay now for the um, oet exam let me tell you oet exam is around 1600 to 1500 to 1600 or uh, or 587 australian dollars just do the conversion because it will fluctuate you know you, you know that it could fluctuate okay what else? Thank you, Antoinette. Okay, she says here, yes, that's true. You have a good review and feedback. Thank you so much. And um, what else? Um, CVP is only 340, more or less, in their hands. So if we include the training, which is 1,000, your total expenses initially, if you're not going to... Um, if you're not going to process your documents um, with us or with SU recruitment or to us, but for Filipinos, I strongly recommend that you do it through us because it's really fast and that includes the shipping fee already. But then, okay, for, for, for all of you, it will only be 3600 to start your application. And you don't pay it one time. You, you will pay first for the training for OET. If you want IS, then it will be lesser. 700 only if you're enrolling tonight because the the regular price is 800 if you are enrolling after this call then you you get you get to have the offer okay you can avail of the offer because the four months training for oet is only an offer remember it's only for two months okay and then i'm giving you free cbt materials you get to save 500 already for that okay this is the initial amount you have to spend to start your application and it will be worth it I have known so many who tried saving money, but then they end up spending more. Why? They repeated the exam. How many times? Not just two times. Sometimes I, I, I heard three times, five times, nine times. And I'm not lying. These are all truths. I won't say it if I didn't hear it from them. So it's really good for us. It's really a good investment, so to speak. Okay? So I have some... Um, some more questions I have to, I have to check. I think we pay first and after. Yes, you're right. For UK, that is the process. Okay, for US, not really. Especially if you are qualified for the free and flex program, they will shoulder everything. Okay, even the end flex training, it will cost you around how much? Before we used to offer that, that's too five for the end flex training. Now there, you're going to get it for free. You just need to enroll and start your UK RN application. You don't have to worry because the like what i said the time frame of your application uh or um from start you know uh from from nclex training up to deployment to us would would take you up to two years what you will do you know in two years time better be in uk and get and uh obtain your uk rn pin or become a uk rn first as you wait for your petition to be completed okay so for the Miss Antoinette, the OET is 1,000 dirhams after four months if you're enrolling after this call. It's 700 for IELTS after three months if you are enrolling after this call. But then if you are a nurse and if you want to pass your English exam in one take, 
go for OET. Don't worry about US because once you pass your NCLEX, it would be easy for you to take the IELTS because at that time, probably the IELTS would expire already, you know, at the time that you get your petition or at the time that they require you to pass your uh, IELTS exam. But then it's all up to you. That's your decision. I'm just giving you an advice because I don't want you to uh, to repeat your exam. For IELTS, the cost, the exam would be around 1200 It depends if it's uh, paper or uh, computer based. Okay. 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 Next, um, how much total in all uh, to start your application for UK? It would be three thousand six hundred. But if you want to avail of the documentation, if your PRC ID is valid, you will add five twenty there. And I will explain that to you later on in in WhatsApp. Okay. The training fee we can pay by staggered. Miss um, Antoinette, yes. Okay. For today, for tonight only, for everyone. I don't usually do this because the training fee is only 1000 as compared to the price in the market. It's very low. And to think that I'm offering you for months. But just because you attended the training or the orientation and you are very keen in processing or starting your um, UKRN to USRN career pathway, I will give you the option to pay in two months. What do I mean? If you are enrolling for OET, I will send you the link to pay 500 tonight or after this meeting, okay? And then after a month or after or within 30 days, you can pay me, you can pay us again 500. And you can start the training, okay? I hope that uh, makes you happy. <laughs> and you can pay using credit or debit card, by the way, okay? So 250 dirhams a month for OEP. No, dear, it's one 1,000 dirhams, okay? Uh, that would be, if you split it into two, that would be 500, okay? Two payments. Uh, we don't usually allow this, but only for, for this if your group would be involved. Yeah, two payments because it's 1,000 total, okay? All right, so to continue, so the NCLEX training uh, that we are talking about, uh, that we are advertising, there are certain qualifications, like, it's not open for all. So um, for the ones who don't have experience, no bedside, no clinical, they have to work on their experience first. And that is the reason why we have introduced the UK RN to US RN pathway. Okay. So the qualification, of course, first and foremost, you need to have a registration as a nurse in your home country. Even for UK, that's actually the same requirement. Okay. But in UK, okay, let me go back to UK first. For UK, the only qualification that we need is of course, you need to have a nursing diploma at least three years. You, ha you have completed three years in the nursing school or you, you are a diploma holder okay, for a um, nursing course and or a BSN graduate for your degree course. And with or without experience, it's okay. All right. And then, of course, you have to pass your OET and your IELTS or your, your, your IELTS CVT so we can be able to deploy you to UK and um, take your... Um, take your OSCE there, okay? Next, for for um, the free and flex training, you need to have at least 12 months at the time of application. They will they will check your current employment and you need to make sure that you will write the, write down the name of the hospital, okay, in the, uh, in your CV, okay, and you have to specifically write your specialty area. So, say for example, we are looking for medical surgical, you have to put there medical surgical nurse and you have to make sure that the job details is related okay to medical and, sur and surgical nursing okay or telemetry icu hdu emergency department even cheddar is accepted hemodialysis these are the requirement as of now i did not add uh, theater but um, in the next slide you will see it there so it's going to be full sponsorship and they will give you four thousand usd joining bonus or signing bonus and of course, it's going to be an EV3 or immigrant visa or you'll be provided with a green card. It's not a work visa. Okay, it's going to be fast processing because um, it will be um, premium processing. Okay, they will spend extra for that. So what is the NCLEX process? I don't know because some of, some of you here have already received the link because I sent some CVs to the client uh, earlier. 
and uh, there are some who have been selected and they have done the predictor test and everything okay so the first step would be um they will assign okay the first step would be for you to send me your cv okay and like what i said in your cv um uh, put the job description and you need to make sure that you have the the uh, you are um qualified okay so you will check the requirements or the specialty area and uh you need to put that in your current experience because what they will look at is your current experience because they you need to have at least one year at the time of application that you are currently working as a medical surgical nurse for example okay at the time of application so the first um once i receive your cv okay um i will submit it to the client Okay but of course you need to you know do the UKRN so uh, we are, we're done with that okay so I will submit it upon screening your CV I'll submit it to the client I will endorse you and um they will be if they're qualified of course you will because I want submit CVs that is not qualified okay but then I'm requesting you to make it faster uh, mm -hmm. for us to um write your CV in such a way that your current experience and job description The description would be seen okay um in your um like what i said current experience because this is the focus okay so first they will assign you a pre-interview test they call it predictor test this they want to make sure that you have the skill and uh you have the potential in passing your nclex so nurses will be receiving a link for the test the total score should be 60. no retake is allowed Okay, so you you, you really have to focus in passing the test, okay? Um, because if you get uh, 59, 55, there would be no chance. Maybe I can try later on, but you know. Yes. Okay. All right. Next, for the nurses who pass the test, um, you will be invited for an interview, which is um, 20 minute in duration. And after the interview, the nurse you will be offered a contract. Okay, of course you have to review the contract, read it, and sign it. Okay, after that, if you um, accept the contract and sub uh, forward it back to them, they will uh, give you. Sorry, Antoinette, but I have to mute you unless you have questions. You can raise your hand if you have, and I'll I'll unmute you. So to continue, um, after the inter or okay, we are now in number three. Okay, so if you had accepted the contract, next would be the readiness exam or RE one. So successful completion of your readiness exam, if you pass it, um, the score that should you should meet is fifty percent. So the nurse this time will be allowed three attempts. Okay, probably it's more difficult this time. That's why you will be, they will be allowing you to take the exam in three times, okay, for you to achieve the 50% score. Okay, so it will be readiness exam one, trial one. Okay, so T1 is trial, RE is readiness, okay, or readiness exam two, trial two, and readiness exam three, trial three. If ever you need to retake it. I hope we are clear, okay? If you have questions, raise your hand or just message me. The next step would be, wait, I, I didn't number it right. It would be number four already, sorry, yeah, because I was in a hurry finishing this slide. So if you are un unsuccessful after taking RE, try RE or readiness exam one, um, RE one, T2 candidate, wait, trial two candidate, and Lex Instructor will provide Research documents. Let's say, for example, you did not pass. You take the exam, right? Um, RE1 readiness exam. You failed. Your instructor for NCLEX will provide you reviewer research documents prior to you taking your final exam, okay? Uh, or the, 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 the trial three exam, okay? So for readiness exam, uh, trial three attempts, the score should be Scores of 45-49% will be provided with the charity program and upon successful completion, they will be eligible to take the readiness exam too. The charity program is something related to NCLEX training or training program. I cannot elaborate on that now. I haven't done the research yet to be honest, but that I've just seen okay, it's something related to... Um, we can Google it out later. I can answer what the cha charity program is. 
Okay. So again, uh, scores of 45 to 49 percent will be provided with the charity program, and uh, if you will pass, you will be eligible to take the readiness exam two. Again, it's RE one, readiness exam one, readiness exam two, readiness exam three. Okay. So if you scored 40 to 45 percent, you may study on your own because it's it's a little bit low, right? And request to take the readiness exam two. They will not provide assistance because. Um, their mar their their margin is only 45 to 40. Okay? The scores of 40 below are not eligible for NCLEX preparation program. So you really have to study hard. Okay. So if you have you have a chance, okay, if it's 45 to 49 percent, because the target score is only 50 percent. So they will provide you assistance. They will really push you to meet the target score because you are just one point away. Yeah. Free and flex training. Okay, what uh, uh, what is the next step? Okay, so after the required score is achieved, granting you pass or meet the target score of fifty percent, um, they will consider you um successful, okay, and qualified, and they you will be assisted in completing the CFGNS CES questionnaire form. What is CGFNS? Okay, so um, it stands for Commission on Graduates. Of, ner of foreign nursing schools administers a certification program or CP for first level general registered nurses who have been educated outside the United States who want to now practice nursing in the United States. So that is what uh, CGFNS stands for. Okay. Next, um, what what is uh, CSCGFNS then? Okay. So CS stands for Credentials Evaluation Service Pro Professional Report. It provides a detailed analysis of your credentials earned at a multiple levels of nursing education received outside the United States. So it's it's like doing the data flow, right? Uh, I think it's something similar. It's credential credential evaluation. I know it's like West. Right. If you uh, have tried applying to Canada, they do the evaluation report of your credentials, POR and all. Sorry about that. Okay. So once CFGNS documents are ready or in approved status, the nurse is placed in NCLEX. What is NCLEX? Okay. NCLEX stands for the National Council Licensure Examination. This is the actual exam. Okay. Or also known as the NCLEX itself. It is a national exam that all nursing students must pass in order to become a licensed registered nurse in the United States. Okay? Questions so far? Let me check. Somebody asked questions. Can we apply directly to yours instead of UK or NUSP? Antoinette, um, actually, it should be, the, the goal is to actually uh, start um, start applying in the UK. Now, it depends if you are already an NCLEX passer, yes. But then for this particular program, since we're giving something that is for free, you have to avail as well of the other package. Because it will really depend on your status. Now, if you're a starter or if you don't have experience and all, it will really take, I mean, it, it will really take time for you then. And you have to work on your experience, then might as well start as uh start applying in uk as you wait for uh, the completion of your documents uh for us okay next now um say for example um if you have friends who are nplex passers okay or who wants to avail um it, again our it's uh based on the discretion of the of the recruiter and of the client because I'm the one who's going to endorse depending on your status like if you started the um, the documentation process uh, like you are on awaiting ATP or your exam is booked I may consider you for uh, the program okay and I will straight away endorse you to the client for the free and click stream okay so um, for the UK I already mentioned um, the process yeah, and of course the benefits, everything is free there also, and then uh, we will reimburse your exam. Some, uh, some the, some of the, 
some of the clients are doing that. For USA, it's full sponsorship. Okay, and there's an option for both to uh, bring the family or uh, to immigrate to either UK or to USA with your family. Okay, so if you have friends who are NFLEX passers, OEP and IELTS passers, tell them to send the CV to me. My email address is there. They are lunila.delarosa at sqrecruitment.com or you can send or contact me via WhatsApp. I would prefer WhatsApp always okay and then if you send your cv you still have to contact me via whatsapp so i would know that you are really interested okay if you're actively uh, communicating with me through whatsapp then um there would be no delay at all okay all right um now what is the requirement okay um i will just repeat but i want to see you to see it uh in writing as well so for uk um for UK applicants, your education should be at least three years. Okay, you must have a nursing diploma or you should be a BSN grad. Okay, so a three-year minimum education uh, as a nurse is accepted. Okay, and this is open for all nationalities. Uh, right now, for Nigerian applicants or those based in Nigeria, the opening or opportunity is uh, the mental health um, nursing. For a private hospital and um, now we have uh, we're accepting application for midwives and they have to go through the same process okay work experience for UK it doesn't matter okay? even fresh graduates so long as you have the um, you are a registered nurse from the country, okay next um, of course pass your o OET or IELTS okay and uh, you have to enroll with us so we can be able to also prioritize your application. And uh, next, you must meet the required OEP or IELTS score. Um, just for you to know, for OEP, it should be all B. For writing, a C plus is accepted. And for IELTS, it should be 7. And for writing, it should be 6.5. Okay. Uh, you have to complete the registration with the Nursing and Midwifery Council. Um, so um, I have given you documents. Okay, you can um, be able to do a screenshot of that, and um, so you can be able to prepare the documents as early as now. But you don't have to worry. Uh, we are going to guide you. Okay, once you enroll, you can just ask me. In fact, upon enrollment, you'll get this list, the same list that you are um, seeing in the presentation. So your valid passport, birth certificate. Your nursing diploma, obviously, your registration certificate from each country you have worked for. Say, for example, if you are in UAE, uh, you are probably practicing in Dubai, so you must be having your DHA license. If you are, if you don't have, it doesn't matter. So long as you have your registration from your home country as a nurse, that should be fine. Okay, and of course, the police clearance um, for all the countries that you have worked for, especially from your home country. Okay. Transcript of rec records, obviously, and a valid IS or OEP. And CVT result. Okay. Next. Um, the test of competence. We have one and two. TOC one and two. What is TOC one? It's, it is CVT or stands for computer-based test. We provide the CVT uh, reviewer, okay, upon enrollment for OEP or, I or IELTS. And then OSCE or TOC two, it will be taken only after de your deployment or while you are in we provide the review materials, but then some review tips or guide, it's there okay, in the presentation. If you are pushing for UK, then uh, this should be, this, take note of the review materials. The person view map test, especially for numeracy because it includes drug calculation, at least 15 items. The current face, uh, current face, the notebook, and read an article about the Francis report. This is, you know, I've seen this in Facebook, they posted, so I'm sh just sharing to you. The NMC code and safeguarding. Next, what else? The, the, um, let's move on, okay? This time it's TOC2. So, objective is structured clinical examination is just like RLE. So, the objective is structured clinical examination or OSCE is a practical examination which you have to take in the UK. It's made up of several stations based on clinical skills and your cl and clinical scenarios. So, if you will check in YouTube, um, you will see some examples. Just type in OSCE, okay? Um, and uh, you will see um, um, example for every clinical uh, scenario, for each clinical scenario. So, 
just uh, check Google for that. Okay. Next, um, you have to complete your registration with the nursing and midwifery council. So once you had, um, you pass your CVP, okay, and OSCE, obviously you're already there in the UK. You just need to upload the missing documents in uh, the NMs in your NMC account, and uh, just pay the registration fee. And once uh, the uh, NMC receive all your documents, um, once you have completed. Um, the submission of your documents, they are going to assess your application within 30 days and will contact you via email to let you know of your decision, of the, their decision and the next step. So basically, uh, what you could expect is that you will be getting your UK PIN. That's how they call it. Once you had completed the, you know, you passed the OSCE, you've completed all the documents that you need to send, then they are going to issue your UK PIN. Okay, uh, next step would be, actually, with SG Recruitment, we're going to give you interview as soon as you pass your OEP and IELTS, okay? But most of the time, the nurse already had done the CVT as well because we want the nurses to um, to start the NMC as soon as they enroll for OEP or IELTS. So, as previously mentioned, there will be interview preparation and full details and salary will be discussed um, before we line you up for the interview. So the um, for US this time the 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 US employer will be shouldering the show will shoulder the following okay they will uh, pay or will reimburse um, the nurse for the following your NCLEX examination fee IELTS exam and review fees okay take nota huh? if you go for IELTS and if you will be using it then uh, I mean for your US application as well so long as it's still valid then. They, you can be reimbursed for that as well, even the review. Um, CG, FNS, um, CES, or Credential Evaluation. Um, board of Nursing Application uh, Fee. Um, travel for NCLEX exam from the province. Visa screen or visa for nurse certificate. All filing fees, all visa fees. This is nurse only. Uh... This is for nurses only, huh? but this is included, okay? Next, a company, a medical for embassy interview. Housing uh, provided for six to eight weeks during clinical training at corporate, corporate office. Transportation from corporate site to client facility, license endorsement. Initial BLS, basic, basic life support, right? ACLS, I forgot. And other necessary certification, but you know that of course. Okay? Uh, what else? Um, so for the bonus and allowances, you will be getting um, four thousand USD less tax. Okay, this is your signing bonus prior to deployment. Paid driving lesson for US driving license. Additional benefits: premium processing of your visa. Additional 2,500 filing fees paid by the employer. And um, of course, the criteria I already had mentioned, and I just added OR and emergency here. But, you know, just take note of the, of the areas they're looking for. Medical, surgical, ICU, high dependency unit or HDU, progressive care unit, telemetry or dialysis in a 150 plus bed or hospital, OR and emergency. Sorry, okay, so what else? Um, they are also going to share their legal expertise and support, online immigration portal, paid pre-deployment training and orientation, paid per hour for classroom training, paid pre-worksite deployment medicals, assistance with obtaining social security, bank account, and housing. What else? Generous and unlimited uh, referral bonus opportunities, okay, once you are successful, and you have relatives or friends, then once you are already in the hospital, then you can refer your nurses or, I mean, any friends or nurses who are, any friends or relatives who are interested, okay? Annual salary increase based on cost of living adjustment and performance evaluation, workers' compensation. So again, no fees or bonuses are deducted from salary, no fees to be collected, okay? All right, so, um, so for, those of you or if you have relatives or friends or colleagues who are interested just um send them my business card or just send them my whatsapp number so i can be able to easily i mean to to to, to 
to assist them, okay, um, faster, uh, especially if they're going to contact me. And again, you set their expectation. You have to start from the OET training, okay? But um, if your qualification is really good, you're having the hospital experience. You can send your CV, okay, um, straight away. I'll review it, and I can for possible endorsement to the client, okay? But then we are pushing really for the UK RN to US RN career pathway. If it's really possible for you, then uh, you won't you won't regret you know doing that. Because UK processing anyway is very fast. Okay, so I guess um, that's the end of our discussion, and I am now going to. Uh, unless you have questions, you can now conclude uh, our orientation. So, um, do you have questions? You can now unmute yourselves, raise your hands, and everything. Uh, Nico, Antoinette, yeah, this is the thing. We, Automatically, they are declining me to Piku, Pija, automatic uh, decline. So I'm not sending it, to tell you honestly. So if I were you, work on um, on on the UK application process once you are there and you decide to still, like at least six months, you know, um, six, if you're working six months in a UK hospital, then I can endorse you. Okay, so who has questions? Any questions so far? No, UK, it's all right. Even if you don't have um, experience. Like if you're working in a school, uh, if you're working in a hotel, we have deployed so many, uh, the ones working in school, in hotel, and they have the testimonials in our website. There is one, I think, I forget the name, but then he thanked me just because he can't forget and he cannot believe that he was able to work in the UK because his gap was six years. Just check the review page. Nico Post in UK. Antoinette, okay, your first, okay, now let, let me just tell you this one important thing. The goal is to be deployed in either UK or, or, or USA. If Nico, if we're not hiring Nico because this is not common, usually we're hiring for general ward nurses, medical surgical. Okay, so you first need to be willing to work in that position. If you are there and if you still want to push for Nico, but if you are planning to work in USA, okay, then might as well stay as a medical surgical because they don't have a demand now. Okay, and um. Yeah, Mrs. Mita, you are very much welcome. Mrs. Mita, I would like to just, you know, encourage you to prioritize UK first. And because right now, our client um, refused to accept. Unfortunately, they are not processing applicants from India, okay? And also uh, Nigeria and so far, okay? That is the, the update, okay? But then uh, you can start your application. Ah, Ashmita, yeah. Just start with your UK application, send your CV. Once you enroll, if your CV is okay, I'll endorse you for free and flex premium. To tell you honestly, the client is looking for uh, nurses who are willing to start from me. Yes, okay, thank you so much. And I'm hoping after this call, Antoinette, just start with it, okay? Start with UK first. And we can still continue. Uh, uh, we, you can still push for your uh, USA dream. You don't, you don't have to worry, okay? Especially once you are there in the UK. And, um, okay. Especially, uh, you know, that there is also age limit, yeah? So you really need to act fast. And if you want to bring your dependents for UK, they should be below 18 years of age, okay? Just, just take note. Yeah, Leon, no problem. You have my WhatsApp number, everyone? You have my WhatsApp number, right? It's there. It's flash on the screen. So um, just message me and then um, I'll be sharing with you the link. If you are qualified, yes, UK has an age limit, Antoinette. Uh, at least before you reach 60. 50 plus is okay, like 56, maybe maybe 58 or 60. Because the, re the retirement age is 67. So, um, 
rather than you staying in Saudi, why why not relocate to UK? Because there is free, uh, there's insurance, you will be covered. There is pension, free education for the children until 18 years old. If they are above 18 years old, they are pursuing college or university education, then the government grants them a loan. Okay? So please uh, don't hesitate and don't worry about your investment. Come on. It's just uh, equivalent to the cost of what? Um, several visit to restaurant, you know, 1000 <laughs> And we accept payment um, through credit or debit card. And like what I said, I'm going to give you two payment options just for you to start. Because I really want, you know, to um, encourage everyone to start. And if money would be a hindrance, um, we, you can use your credit card or you can uh, offer two payment options, okay? All right. How about the rest, Hanadi, uh, Antoinette, uh, Leo will message me privately. Uh, that should be fine. You can you can message me uh, um, in WhatsApp, okay? And I'd be happy to reply. So, no more questions. Um, shall I end our discussion for tonight? No more. Sure, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much for your time and have a great evening, everyone. Good luck to your you. UKRN and USRN. Okay, bye. Take care.